My name is Todd Oyoung, and I'm a music photographer based in New York City. I specialize in live music photography and portraits of musicians. Whether it's on stage, backstage, in the photo pit, or on tour, if it rocks, I want to shoot it. At first, I started out just as a fan of music. I was going to a lot of concerts, and it happened to bring my camera to a show. I was hooked from the very first show. I think I'm always trying to push myself. Every new show is a chance to, to make something that hasn't been shot before. For me, I'm obsessed with those like rock star shots. I really want to nail and like create those images that fans love. So that's really what drives me as a music photographer. I will shoot music until I can't hold a camera anymore. Concert photography almost always takes place in really low light with limited access and limited time. You're often shooting from a photo pit that might be at the front of the stage, and so you have limited angles you're working with, and you're often at the mercy of stage lighting, which can be incredibly low. And all these factors really add up to needing equipment that can respond as quickly as you want it to in order to perform. So the D500 is an extremely exciting camera. It's a flagship DX camera between an extremely high ISO range, 10 FPS shooting rate, and a 200 frame buffer. All these things add up to a really fast camera. And on top of that, you have a state-of-the-art autofocus system that we've never seen before. For me, the 20.9 million megapixel resolution of the DX sensor and the D500, I think it's really a nice, it's a sweet spot for me. It's balanced between having enough resolution to have a lot of detail and to make retouching easy and to have files that clients can really use while not being too big. You don't have to have huge hard drives or servers to really store these images or work with them. And it, it's a nice balance between processing power and being able to deliver great files. Having the option of both SD and XQD is really nice. You have you know, super affordable and ubiquitous SD cards on the one hand, and you have the highest performance in the XQD cards, giving you super fast write and read speeds. As a music photographer, I almost never shoot below ISO 3200, and even 6400 or above is really common. So with T500 having a range of 100 to 51,200 is really nice. For me, one feature I really loved about the D500 was the 10 FPS shooting speed. You know, this is something that is really allows you to precisely pick out the moment you want in a frame. I can't stop the band in a performance and ask them to do a song over or you know, something else if I miss a cue. You know, I really have to be on top of it and anticipate moments. So being able to have 10 frames per second continue shooting is a huge asset. With the D500, Snap Bridge is a really excellent feature for any photographer. You know, these days we're being asked to deliver images faster and faster, whether it's to clients or to share them on social media. So having the ability to connect it to your phone via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi is a huge asset in just having the most connected camera possible. One feature of the D500 is the tilt screen, which is something that I love, you know. With the tilt screen for music photography, you're able to get really low angles you know, of the band, but also it's hugely beneficial to tilt it down and be able to get overcrowd shots that can make for really unique images. The 200 frame buffer of the D500 is something that's really exceptional. Being able to shoot 14-bit raw at 200 frames continuous is something that we've never seen before. You know, as a music photographer, the one most painful thing I have when I'm shooting is to be waiting on the buffer of my camera because that's a moment that only happens when amazing things are happening and you shot a ton and filled up the buffer. So having a 200 frame headroom above that is something that I think is gonna be amazing for any kind of action or sports photographer. So the shoot I did with the D500 for the launch campaign was with a band called Daily Daily who are out of Toronto and it was their first headlining show in New York which was really special for the band. It was a sold out show in Brooklyn and the band was really amped, the crowd was awesome, and it was just a really special experience to be able to shoot this performance. For this show, it was such a small venue, it was only about a 280 capacity venue, and so I was right up to the front of the stage for the show, shooting just in the crowd, and it was just a lot of excitement. At the same time, those conditions make it really exciting as a music photographer, because you're right in the mix, and the band is feeding off of all that energy, and so being able to capture that as a music photographer, that's something that I live for. I worked with uh, Ben, the drummer of Dilly Dally, and it was really fun to shoot him just because he's super energetic. He's got longer hair, so I was flying in his face, and he was an awesome subject to photograph. In this photo, it shows Katie, Liz, and Ben of Dilly Dally, and it's a really wide angle shot, and I kind of like shooting in these smaller venues because you can get right up 
close to the, the performers. And this is a pretty wide shot. It shows, you know, all three band members. You know, I like it because you know the neck of the guitar is shooting right into the lens. It kind of has that exaggerated distortion. I think that the D500 and SB5000 really open up a lot of creative possibilities in terms of being able to put flashes wherever you want, have extremely reliable triggering, and precisely control all the ratios right from your camera. We were able to put them in creative places like under the drum kit, for example, to really create some dynamic lighting um, that you wouldn't necessarily see. I think the 4K video option of D500 really opens up a lot of possibilities, especially with the combination of the high ISO performance. You know, you have a huge range with the D500 up to 1.6 million ISO at the extreme high end. And I think that it opens up a lot of low light possibilities, but for any photographer, especially events or you know, concert photography. For the shoot with Dilly Dally, I was really blown away by the performance of the D500. It's so fast and responsive. For me, having gear that kind of melts away, that becomes transparent, that's the ultimate goal because it just lets you concentrate on shooting those epic you know, rock star moments. When you have a camera like the D500 that just it responds, it focuses, you're not waiting on it, it's really freeing to be able to shoot with gear like that. And it's the reason why I love shooting with the D500. I think my ultimate goal is to create everlasting images that the fans love and that are kind of timeless.